What's up guys, Christina Dewitowitz here, back with another video for you, this time with an Amazon haul focused on loungewear and comfort. If you've seen some of my previous videos here on YouTube, you'll know that I'm all about loungewear and comfort these days, and I really think it's just because I've been working from home. So I was working from home, got sent back to work, and now we're all working from home again. And when I'm working from home, I'm not gonna dress up. Maybe my top half, maybe I'll brush my hair, put on a little bit of CC or BB cream. Otherwise, I'm not wearing work clothes and I'm not really gonna waste that makeup just to sit at home. And since gyms are back open, at least where I am here in Colorado, I've been looking for more workout pieces, some workout sets. So let's jump right in. So first I wanna talk about two rompers I got from Amazon and I can't really show you them that well, so I'll insert clips of me actually wearing these. This is a light pink romper. It is so soft and I absolutely love that it has pockets. Because the straps are so thin, I have to make sure I am wearing a sticky bra. It's actually my newfound love on Amazon. I am so obsessed with sticky boobies. I just love the feeling of not having that bra feel across my back, especially when it's hot. This material, if I were to describe it, is pretty thin, but I mean, yeah, it is pretty thin. So if you are wearing a bra that normally shows through a t-shirt, you're definitely going to be able to see, see it through this. So that's why I just go for the sticky bra, no straps and no lines. The next romper is this burgundy colored romper, very similar to the light pink one. So it has a halter neckline. So the straps are a little bit thicker than the pink one, but just like the pink one, it has pockets. And I absolutely love that. This material is a little bit thicker, I would say, maybe just a tiny bit than the pink one, but still I would go for the sticky bra. So let's be real about the pockets in these rompers. It is very, very light. The material is thin. So if I put my phone in there, you're gonna see it hanging. They're not that strong, but at least it's good for like a short time where maybe I need to grab something out of my purse real quick and I need to put my phone away, but I don't wanna put it in my purse. So yeah, for that, definitely. I probably wouldn't put my keys in it unless it's just for like a short walk, a short time. So even though these pockets aren't the best, they are still pretty handy. Next thing I wanna talk about is this black jumpsuit. It's kind of thick. You can definitely wear a real bra with this. It is long sleeve, but I like to kind of pull it up a little bit. And I also like to wear it off one shoulder, but you can definitely wear it like, like normal. The thing I don't like is that there is a little button in the back. And so it's kind of hard for me to make sure this is on correctly or else I just might forget. Or maybe I could just leave it unbuttoned because when I did have it buttoned, it was a little difficult to keep it off the shoulder. It kept wanting to ride up and just be like a normal top. So I'm probably gonna try that. I've only had a chance to wear this one time, but it's starting to finally get a little bit cold. I say finally just because we're entering the fall season, but also I don't think I'm ready for winter yet. So I don't know how to feel about it because I wanna wear all my cute fall clothes, but I don't know. I just feel like it's just one of those things where you're never happy. Like if you have straight hair, you want curly hair, and if you have curly hair, you want straight hair. It's just one of those. But super comfy, I, I feel like you can dress it up, dress it down, I just absolutely love it. I wore it to a cigar bar and my boyfriend thought I was wearing PJs, and I was like, I'm going and I can dress this up, it's totally fine. Totally fine. So I wanna talk about one more piece that I consider to be more of a loungewear than a workout piece. And it is this top right here. It's a beige, tan color, and I absolutely love the bottoms. Okay, so this comes as a set, and you can only order it in one size. So I picked a medium because I didn't want my bottoms to be so tight. But if I could order two different sizes, I would get the top in a large. First of all, for the top, there is padding that it comes with, and I just took that right out. Here it is right here. It was actually one whole piece, and I was super surprised by that. And you can see where I actually had to cut this because this was actually sewn on to the top. So what I did was make a tiny hole. Okay, so it's actually not that tiny now that I look at it. Here's that hole where I pulled the padding out and I just kind of stuck my scissors in and I felt like I was like on an operation table doing surgery, but I just stuck my scissors in and tried to get as close as possible to the padding so that I wouldn't be cutting up my actual top. So why would I go for a large? I would go for a large in the top because I'm large chested and so even with the padding you could like it was it was just so stretched out that you could see the outline of the padding so I thought that wasn't good at all so what I like to do is wear this with little pasties to cover things up 
So this is going in the trash. Because it's so stretched out, it doesn't completely cover the bottom of my chest. So it kind of sticks out. So I'm constantly having to pull it down. So probably wouldn't be able to wear this out in public. Definitely not for working out. You, your sweat would definitely show through. My dogs are just having the time of their lives right now. As for the bottoms, absolutely love it. I think it fits me perfectly. And again, I did get the medium, but you have to make sure you're wearing nude colored smooth underwear, like a thong because any underwear that you have that has any cool detailing or any like pretty lace or anything on it, it will show right through because the material is so thin. Like I would hold up different colored underwear behind it, like in it, and it would, it would just show through. So definitely nude undergarments is a must for this. They have these in other colors. This took the longest to get here out of my whole, out of my big Amazon order. And it came straight from China. And when I opened it, it smelled like smoke as if someone was smoking when they were sewing this together or packing it up. It was so bad. Like I only tried on the top just to see how that fit. And I could not try on anything else. Like the pants being anything else. It was just, awful but after i washed it, it was all good so i'm trying to decide if i want these in a different color but then i remember that you know the top doesn't really fit me so it's not really worth it but so maybe just try it out in one color and you know see how that fits maybe maybe you're a lucky one and you can fit in one size both on top and on bottom but otherwise it's super comfy and I love it. I've been looking to get some biker shorts. I really didn't think I was gonna get into this trend just because I'm so short and I didn't want my legs to look shorter with long shorts, but I was able to find these five inch shorts online. I also like that they have pockets and it's kind of like a Lululemon knockoff. I don't have any shorts or biker shorts from Lululemon, so I can't really do a full on comparison, but I've heard these are good knockoffs. So I got two pairs, so I got them in black and I got them in purple, like a plum color. Five inch length, definitely recommend these. They say in their description that they don't ride up, they definitely ride up. And I don't know if that's because I need to go a size down or what, but I thought if I went a size down, it'd be a little too tight. I just wasn't sure. And that's what I hate about ordering clothes online. You just never know. And I just hate the effort it takes to ship it back and then wait again. I'd rather just try it on in a store, but you know, I got these, I'm happy with them, but they ride up for me. That was when I was doing a kickboxing class and when I was on the Peloton at the YMCA. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about are some tops. So here are some sport bras that are actually like crop tops. So it looks like a regular tank top and it has a built-in bra with padding. And it's not like this one where it's just one piece together. They are separate and they are removable, but I, I just leave them in there even when I wash them and dry them. And here's what the inside of that looks like. And you can see the padding in there. So again, with ordering online, I got really confused with the sizing. The first time I ordered this, I got it in this color and I got it in a medium and I put it on and it fit me like a small. So then I was like, all right, I'll just, I'll just give this to my sister. I'm not gonna wear this. So then I got this olive green one in a extra large and it fits, but I feel like maybe it could be tighter, but I don't know how big of a difference it is from the large to the extra large. And I'm just too scared to order something that I'm not gonna wear. And, and like I mentioned earlier, I just don't wanna go through the hassle of returning something and then getting my money back and all that. It's just such a process. Just for me personally, I just don't wanna deal with that. I've been wearing the extra large when I work out at the gym and I love it. I like to pair this top with my Lululemon leggings or my Amazon biker shorts. I think they look really good. It is not moisture wicking at all and it definitely shows through, especially on this color. So I wonder how it would look in a white color. Uh, that's something that I plan on ordering when I do my next big Amazon purchase. I'm someone who likes to order multiple things at once. You know, I do have Amazon Prime, so I could order things one by one, but I feel like if I order things in bulk, it'll help me control how much I'm spending and how much I'm actually getting online and how, and do I really need those items? So I like to wait till I have a good amount in my cart, not like $500 worth, but just a good amount. What does have a ton of support is this next bra, sports bra, this one. So I ordered this in a white. I really like the mesh back 
and I like that it actually covers up a lot. So it's not too revealing to the point where your boobs are just gonna pop out when you're doing some type of workout on the ground or something like that. I also really like how the material feels on this bra. It is just so smooth and soft, but supportive. I was thinking of getting two more of this bra and this one, but I decided, you know, I'm already ordering a lot of sports bras, so I probably don't need two of each. So I'll just get this in white and maybe this one in black. I really like how this feels. This is definitely more supportive. There is padding and it is removable, but I just leave it in. And you can see that right there. I got this in a, I think it was a medium. And I'll have all my sizing details down below. Now, one thing I wanna say is that in order to make these last as long as they can and not get torn up, I, air dry these or I lay flat to dry. I never put them in the dryer just because I don't want them to shrink or just get destroyed. And I wash them in cold water and if they're, sometimes I'll put them in a little laundry bag and wash it that way. But otherwise I just take it out of the washing machine once it's done and lay it on top of the dryer to dry or I hang it. The last two things I wanna talk about are some workout tops. And I'm someone where if I like something, I wanna get them in multiple colors. So here's the top. This is supposed to be like another Lululemon knockoff. I don't have any tops from Lululemon. So this is another thing I can't compare from the brand, but it is pretty soft. The back, I feel like in pictures I saw on Amazon's listing, I feel like it says you're supposed to be able to tie the back together so that it gives it a more fitted look, but I haven't been able to figure that out yet. I don't know, maybe I need a bigger size, but if this be right, I think I got a small. I got it in this like a blush pink color and then I got it in plain black. Definitely not gonna be ordering any more of these since I already have two and I think two is more than enough. That's it for loungewear, but I do wanna show you this hat I got. Went tubing the other weekend and if you've been watching me for a while, you know I struggle with sunspots. So I got a hat, a big hat, like a beach hat. And I wanna show it to you. It looks like this in the back and you just kinda put it on like this and it's supposed to protect my face, I hope, depending on where the sun is, I guess. So I bought it for a tubing trip and we ended up going, but it was not sunny enough and it was not warm enough to wear this hat. So now I have it for our next potential trip. But the one thing I really like about this hat is that when it's not in use or if you are traveling and you wanna bring the hat with you, all you gotta do is roll it up it's also really soft and bendable, so I feel like it's not gonna break. So you roll it up and it has this little little tie attached to it and you just kind of wrap it around the whole thing. And now you're ready to go. I probably could have done that better. There we go. See? Perfect, look, it's so small. It's just so good for traveling. So now I can be fashionable. So this is more of a summer hat, I think. I don't know, I'm not really like a big fashion girl. I don't really know what's trendy sometimes, except for the biker shorts. That's the only thing I know that's pretty much trendy right now, or at least it was. I really like this hat. It was like 15 bucks. It was maybe 12, I think it was maybe 15. Affordable, good quality, and I just love it. So I hope I get to use it sometime soon. Or if not, there's always next year, I guess. All right, guys, that's it for my Amazon lounge haul. I hope you enjoyed it and found something that you like or something that you've been looking for but just haven't been able to find. I always hope my videos are helpful because I turn to YouTube a lot if I'm looking for something, especially if I'm looking for reviews on how something fits, how it wears, what the material's like, because you can only see so much on a listing page and they only show you what they wanna show you. I know that a lot of people are back to work full time and like in person, like, at their actual job. And I was thinking of shooting a video of my Amazon professional wear because I did get a lot of Amazon dresses for my job. If you're interested in that, please let me know. I'd be happy to shoot it. I just don't know if it's something that a lot of people would be interested in. Like, I don't know how many of you are back to working full time or how many of you are still working from home like I am. So because I am still working from home, I am not wearing those dresses a ton right now. But let me know what you guys think. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I put a video out at least once a week, sometimes two, just depending on what's going on. And as always, check out my blog because I post all of my videos on there and it's basically a resource where you can find everything from that I post on YouTube all in one place and I will see you guys in the next video bye